So it all comes down to this. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. It is episode number 47 of my player, and today we are returning with a season finale. We're after our 3 0 win over Aston Villa with Spurs. We are going to the FA Cup final, which you'll see today sandwiched in between our final five Premier League games, where we are clinging on to a top four place. We know Man City have won the title, that was known a long time ago, but with five games remaining, we're just three points clear of the Red Devils, though this is our game in hand. Five games to go in the Premier League. We'll play them all today and try and cling on to a top four place. Let's get straight into it. First game away at the Etihad against the champions, Manchester City. I'll take a point. Well, Nafio back for this one as well, by the way. So hopefully that means that between now and the end of the season, Conte won't do any more bizarre switches where I've been playing centre half and right back and everywhere, really. But um, still, I've got to say the final five games, this is definitely the toughest of the lot. I, I wouldn't say the final four are easy, but what a terrible start. But I do expect to win at least three of the final four, so a point here is, is more than good enough. We're going to get it, it has to come from behind to get it. Erling Haaland is chasing me down for that golden boot. But to be honest, mate, you can have it if you want. Right? As much as I'd like it. If it comes at the expense of an FA Cup winner's medal, I don't want it. I'll, I'll take the FA Cup over a golden boot any day of the week. You ask Harry Kane, I think he'd say the same, to be honest. Definitely. Yeah, it's an interesting one with Kane. We were talking about this in the uh, in the group chat recently. My, uh, my my friends and I were having a discussion about this. You know, what, what does Kane do? Every year, the same article gets rehashed. It's time for Harry Kane to leave Spurs, so on and so forth. But really... I, I think he's got that eye on the um, the goal scoring record in the Premier League. So if he is to leave, I think he I don't think he'd want to go abroad. I think he'd want to stay in England. But then where to? Oh, how on earth has that been not been finished as well? Where to? Chelsea and Spurs ain't gonna do a deal. Obviously not gonna go to Arsenal, so that's two gone. Man City now got Haaland, so that's also gone. That's three. I mean, Liverpool have just bought a Nunez, so I doubt he'll go there either. So realistically, is it Manchester United or no one. I mean, at the moment, that seems the only real option for him in the Premier League. At the time recording, he's 62 behind Shearer, I think it is, which, you know, for a striker of Kane's class, realistically, that's three or four years. Um, so, I mean, for me, you know, with him still, still in his prime, but with not long left in it, I think, yeah, he's... Uh, he can't leave and then come back and expect to break it. He'll have to stay here for the long term. Oh, cracking finish that. The question is, what does he value more? That record? A couple more golden boots, maybe? Or trophies? Because will he win one at Spurs? I'd love to see Kane stay at Spurs for his entire career and win them a trophy. Now, I did predict at the start of the season they would break their trophy throughout this year. Oh, cracking finish. But... It is looking a little bit more unlikely now, if not impossible, of course. But, um, yeah, FA Cup, definitely, definitely, definitely still a possibility. Don't get me wrong. But uh, for Kane, I, I I, know he'd have a much better shot if he was to leave to a major European side, for example. But I, I'd love to see it. I'd love to see him stay at Spurs, end, end their trophy drought, win a major honour, break the record for Premier League goals. I think that would be an incredible legacy to leave. When it's all said and done. Nah, that's well over. Come on, boys. We can still claim a point here. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Finish it. Oh, Edison. What a save. Get anything at the Etihad and it's a bonus. I didn't really expect anything. I got the assist for our leveller, but Musiala wraps it up. They are just a level above at this save. <sighs> too good. Too good at this point. Yeah, let's just let's just get out of there, man. Seriously. You go to the Etihad at this point in the save right now where they're dominating. You ain't going to get anything, man. Could have snatched it at the, at the death, to be fair. Could have snatched a point, but just wasn't to be. I didn't play badly, but just not much service me in that one. The pressure is immense. Manchester United and Liverpool only behind us on goal difference as we now sit one point behind Chelsea in second. Yes, we've got the game in hand on the Red Devils, but oh, man, I'm starting to think we might bottle this, you know. Rock bottom Swansea at home next. If we can't win this, just put us in the Europa League. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Yes, come on. 
Feeling a little bit aggressive heading into this game here. That's a brilliant ball to Patrick Vimmer. Can you get away? Oh, it's a rocket. It's an absolute rocket. Fans, calm it down. We got this. What a rocket. Yes, went in the forward. We go. Oh, that's a poor pass, but it's mine. Game. Game. Three points. And that's the win. Job done, boys. Job done. One down. Three to go. And if we win those, we are in the Champions League next season. On to the next one. Next up, Wednesday night. Final game before the North London Derby FA Cup final. And it's Wolves at home. Two points clear of Liverpool. In fifth, we've got a game in hand on both the Red Devils and Chelsea as well. Win this, and surely, surely, we won't bottle the top four from there. I think I would have showed you pre-game. Um, I think it's three or two goals clear of Tammy Abraham. We're the Saints right now um, in the race for the Golden Boot. But to be honest here, I'm not really thinking about it. I just want to make sure we can... Get that top four place cemented. It's a great cross by Jed, and it's one. It's a brilliant header, and it's a brilliant cross as well. Absolutely superb delivery. And I think my header might have taken a deflection, but it's it's still a bullet. I want to see that on the replay real quick there. Nice little ball out wide. First time cross by Jed. Is it take a deflection off Joe Rodden? Oh, I'm not sure. It's definitely my goal. I'm claiming it. But did it take a deflection off the Expert's defender? The answer is yes, I thought it might have done. Clips the under the side of the bar, but it's mine. And Spurs have the perfect start, leading in the first five. Do you know what? I've got a feeling I might be on the bench for the FA Cup final because at this rate I'm going to fail all three of my objectives. I've got to complete ten passes in the opponent half, which to be fair I should be doing now. You can kind of tell I'm playing for it here. <laughs> this is why I don't like the objective system, because it's like... Oh, great save. It's like you shouldn't be playing for that sort of stuff. Do you know what I mean? That shouldn't determine whether you start or not. Getting XP, yeah, fair enough. But not whether you start. Like, in what world would Conte be like, Well, Docs, once again, you bagged a game winner for us and bailed us out. But, uh, checks the stat sheet. You, uh, you didn't complete 15 passes in the opponent half. You didn't take six shots on target. And you didn't recover the ball four times either. So, sorry, mate. Epic Cup final. I'm putting you on the bench. Oh, boys, don't throw it away. Fuck the match rating. But I come off the bench in the FA Cup final, so be it. That's going to be mine in the air, though. Here we go. Forward we go. This is a golden chance here to wrap it up. And that's... Oh, it's off the post. It's fine, though. It's all right. I'll fail two of my three objectives, which were... The others, by the way, were to get a match rating of nine and to hit four shots on target. In the end, it's two on target, I believe, and the other one I hit was the passing. I might come off the bench for the FA Cup final. So frustrating. Nope, turns out I just about survived. So this is it. My third Cup final of my career, and so far, I've got a 100% record, scoring five goals and assisting two in two Cup finals on my way to winning them both. Arsenal, North London derby, Wembley, and I ain't going to lie, despite our loss to them, I feel confident. I reckon we're going to do this. Come on, Spurs. So against Arsenal this year, our record in North London derbies, played two, won one, lost one. Uh, funny enough, both our wins came away, I should say. Um, our win and Arsenal's win both came away. But this is the neutral round, Wembley and Arsenal won an early corner. And both teams desperate for silverware. The Gunners have to win to be in Europe next season. Not just the Champions League, but Europe. Due to a poor domestic season in the league. But if we don't win, it's a trophyless campaign and I've failed to come good on my mission to win him a trophy. And it's a very fast start. It's a penalty! It's a penalty! That didn't look like a penalty to me, I must say. But actually, from that angle, do you know what? I think the ref's got that right. I think the ref's got that right, you know. At first, I thought it was soft. But Facundo Farias has a chance to give Arsenal the lead from 12 yards. And I think he will. And he does. And the Gunners strike first blood in the cup final. Keep it calm, boys. Keep it calm. 
Yes, we conceded the early goal, but there's plenty of time. Plenty of time. I should have played four minute halves or five minute halves. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. God, I'm regretting that decision now. It's okay. There's plenty of time still in game. 70 minutes. Plenty of time, but we've, we've got to get some attacks, really. We don't want to go into the break with no shots recorded. And this is it. This is the moment. It's pegged back. And it's a team shot. Which was on target, but Livakovic, whilst he had to stretch, saved it comfortably. Still, at least a Croatian had to do something. Udogi, to my feet. That's a great ball. Goal for Spurs! Number nine, Docks! I'm not losing this. I'm not coming short on my promise. We are not losing the cup final to Arsenal. I ain't going to let it happen. Arsenal won, Spurs won. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, okay. God, this is nervy. There's definitely another goal. There's, there's no way we get to 90 minutes still tied at 1-1. Both teams are going at it in the early stages. They're all throughout the first half. There's definitely another goal before 90 minutes are up. But it won't be before the second half will begin. Conceded an early penalty. I got us the leveller. But with 45 to go, this could go either way. Matty Cash. Back to Langlet. And oh. Arsenal at the moment. Looking a little bit. Hold on. Oh, ref. Play advantage, please. Play advantage, guys. Play all without me. Patrick Vimmer! Great advice played, and Spurs turn the game on its head to lead for the first time at Wembley. What a turnaround from Spurs, as I'll nod it back, and oh, was that to me or Cunning? I'm not sure there. That's mine though, yes! Oh no, yes, here we go, thank God for that, teammate bailed me out there. Oh, gold, golden chance, golden chance. It is as cool as you like. And Spurs lead by two. What a turnaround at Wembley. Name a more iconic duo, Docks and Cup Finals. Oh, it's brilliant. I feel like Di Maria right now. Got around to Veldia. One on one with my old teammate, Livakovic. And I said sorry to the Croatian, but I've got to put it past him again. Spurs now up by two. This is ours to lose. From a goal down inside the first 10 minutes to free one up as we'll close the game out. The Gunners looking for a late chance, but it's over. And Tottenham Hotspur are going to win their first major honour since the Cup Final. The EFL Cup Final, I should say. The League Cup Final. The Carling Cup Final over 15 years ago. I promised Spurs when I arrived I'd end the trophy drought. Mission successful. Tottenham Hotspur are FA Cup winners. Buzzing. Well, I did not expect to see Sergio Reguilon lifting the trophy, if I'm being totally honest here, but <laughs> how do you get the captain's armband in player career mode? Does anyone know? Because even when my manager rating is maxed out and I'm one of the seniors in the team like I am right now and, you know, I'm performing incredibly well on the pitch, 
Um, I'm still not wearing the armband. I won it briefly with Benfica, funnily enough, when we won the cup. But uh, I don't know how to do it. Anyway, let's turn our attentions back to the Premier League now. Yes, we got a trophy, but now we've got to stay in the top four. So, Liverpool won, Manchester United won, Chelsea won. Brilliant. No favours done for us there. Following game, Southampton away, where, to be fair, if we win this due to the goal difference swing, that'll be that. We will lock up a top four play, surely, with a game to go. This is our game in hand. Win it and top four is surely ours, but lose it. And on the final day, we might need to win at home to Newcastle. Otherwise, we'll be in the Europa League next year. Massive game. There is an individual battle going on as well between myself and Tammy Abraham for the golden boot. But, you know, it's, I said earlier, like, it's not really on my mind. Yes, it'll be a bonus to win it. But, you know, if it comes to the expense of a top four place, forget it. Tammy, you can have it, mate. <laughs> Honestly, I'd rather be in the Champions League next year than say I won the golden boot the previous season. Oh, but I could still technically get both. Great save by Onana early, though. Abraham trying to get around Tavares. He's done brilliantly. Oh, it's brilliant. That's why he's going for the golden boot. Former Roma striker has just done Castells in. What a goal. It wasn't just Castells, it was Tavares as well. Rounded the last defender and then chipped the Belgium. So he wasn't even there. He's 25th of the season. So he's still two behind me, I think it is. But um, I think it's two. But even so, that's a brilliant goal. And he's just sent a rebo through. And it's a great save by Castells. Oof, dear. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. We are going to go into the final day, probably needing to beat Newcastle. That's offside. Could, could have... Could have all but confirmed it tonight. In the end, it's going to be taken to the final day. Oh, what a save! Andre Onana with an amazing save. That's too short. That's way too short. And that's it. Southampton hold on. And we probably... Probably will need to beat Newcastle on the final day. What an incredible save by Andre Onana. The pressure. E well, that is, uh, that is something to celebrate at least. I'm going to the Euros. I got snubbed two years ago, but this time I'm going to the Euros. Right, final day then, and the scenario is very simple. If we win, because of the goal difference swing, top four is perhaps guaranteed. If we lose and Manchester United just get a point, then we'll drop to fifth. If we draw and Manchester United win, we'll also drop to fifth. So basically, if the Red Devils win, we need to match their result. If they slip up, then we can still qualify with potentially a draw as well. Even so, win and we stay in the top four. Failed to win, and I think personally we're uh, with pro dropping into the Europa League. That would be a terrible way to end what has been a season of success with the silverware. Come on, Spurs. To be fair, a draw might potentially be enough because... All three... Okay. I was going to say, all three teams around us have got really, really tough games. Manchester United, Everton, Liverpool, Wolves, Chelsea, West Ham. But the youngster, Elliot Anderson, has given Newcastle the lead in 10 minutes. On the final day, guys, are we really going to lose back-to-back -back and miss out of the Champions League? Really? This will be such a Spurs thing to do. We finally win our first major honour. And then we bottle Champions League football. Oh, boys, forward we go. Forward we go. Time's on our side. We haven't had any chances yet. I could change here, though. And it should change here. Oh, come on, Zalewski. You're better than that. Man, Zalewski and Vimmer, they are so inconsistent. Sometimes they're really good at me. Sometimes they are absolutely terrible. Destiny. Oh, God. That sums it up, really. Big decision to leave Dortmund and come here. I've come good on my promise to win them the trophy, but... Oh, come on, finish! Yes! It's not a goal, it's not an assist, but I don't care one bit. We're back on level terms. Oh, look how far I've got a trap back here, seriously. Oh, thank God for that. Now, oh, no, no, no. Oh, I can't believe it. 
I thought he was pegging it back in the end. Breuer was free. I can't believe it. That's my bad, I think. I, I thought he was going to peg it back. I shouldn't even be in that position, really. But even so, we are 45 minutes away from dropping into the Europa League. And won't you just know it? All three teams are slipping up on the final day. <laughs> Honestly, Chelsea are behind. Liverpool and Manchester United are drawing. But as things stand, even a draw would be enough here. Even a draw would be enough. Why didn't you cross, mate? I was asking for it, and there was no way. I would have won that. I, I know I would have won that. Oh, what a save, Costa. I I was sure that was going in. What a save, Costa. 30 minutes. 30 minutes to save our season. Got to win that, got to win that, got to win that. And I've got to win that. Yes, come on. But I think we might need to win it. I think we might need to win it. I still think we need another one. Come on. 2-2. Two, two. And if Manchester United are still tied with Everton, we're going to finish above them on goal difference. But... This guarantees it if we hold on. Oh, yes. Oh, what a brilliant little run. Kane. This took a bit up. It's over. What a finish in North London. Unbelievable. Harry Kane, I've got you a trophy, and we're staying in the Champions League. What an incredible final 15 minutes. Absolutely unbelievable scenes. Incredible. This has got to be one of the craziest roller coasters of a final day I've ever had. Because after falling behind, we found our level. I was at fault for Newcastle second. But three goals in 13 minutes, two of them mine, have seen us come from behind to win it. And Spurs will stay in the Champions League. Incredible finale. So in the end, as the Red Devils drew, it means that a draw would have been enough. We both would have had 73, but we would have been ahead on goal difference. But we weren't to know that. I thought we needed to win that game later on. And those two late goals did see us get the three points. We finished for a whopping 18 points behind Man City. We won the closest races ever for a top four place. Where four teams could have missed out on the final day spurs hang on courtesy of late heroics in north london that was incredible man and it's nice to know the added bonus is that individually in a record-breaking season in terms of assists i also won the golden boot four clear of erling Haaland getting to 30 on the final day as well. This year's Carabao Cup was won by Chelsea. They beat Brentford in a West London derby on penalties. And of course, as you know, we had a sensational run to the final of the FA Cup and ended Spurs' trophy drought with a North London derby victory over Arsenal. And as for the Champions League, from elation to despair, after knocking out the holders Juve, we were sent packing by Milan in the following round after I choked it to death in the second leg. But they themselves got to the final only to come up short to Chelsea as there was European glory in London this year, just not with us. Right boys, that will do it for today's big season finale. I really hope you enjoyed this one, man. Man, best episode to save and it's not even close. If you did enjoy it, then please do drop a like, guys. That's all I ask. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic day. And in the next episode, we won't return. 
with the new domestic season. Now we're starting the European Championships, where for the first time I'm representing England at a national tournament. Thanks for watching, guys. Much love to you all, and I'll see you for the European Championship very soon.